I want to talk to you about the 2012 Farm Bill and the 2013 Agriculture Appropriations Bill. More specifically, I want to address the Monsanto Rider. Congress is currently hearing proposed legislation that will virtually make Monsanto immune to any type of damages caused by its genetically uh, modified products and legislation which will force the government to approve all GMOs and prohibit all safety reviews of GMOs regarding their approval process. It's important to understand that these actions presently being undertaken by Congress will pave the way for GMO's complete domina dom domination of the food and crop industry. The Monsanto Rider effectively automatically allows Monsanto and other GMO crop producers to move forward with planting and, cu and cultivation even if a higher court had previously ordered a moratorium on planting and cultivation pending further studies for health dangers, um, toxicity, and livestock damage and death. It turns out that the most evil corporation in the world has quietly attached riders to both the 2012 Farm Bill and the 2013 Agriculture Appropriations Bill that would essentially force the federal government to approve GMOs at the request of biotechnology companies and prohibit, prohibit all safety reviews of GMOs from having any real impact on the GMO process, the GMO approval process. Now people, you need to understand, and you probably already do, that this rider to the 2012 and 2013 bills uh, mentioned previously make Monsanto and other GMO companies bulletproof. They're even exempt from current regulations currently set forth by the EPA and the Endangered Species Act. Once again, Monsanto trumps food safety and democracy and go spits in the face of the will of the people. People have a right to know what is in their food. They have a right to know what the potential side effects of those chemicals and genetically modified organisms are. They have a right to choose, but not according to Monsanto and the biotech industry. No, they're even looking to reintroduce the herbicide Agent Orange in a weed management program that's been built into the 2012 Farm Bill and the 2013 Agriculture Appropriation Bill. Can you believe this? Agent Orange, they're gonna use it on our food crops and we don't have a right to know that they're using it, what crops they're using it on, what the potential side effects are, we don't have a right to labeling information, not according to Monsanto and the other biotech companies out there working in the field of genetically modified organisms. Now, people, you need to understand that if this bill passes with the Monsanto rider, these biotech companies will have 100% of the food production market in America. They will control completely the, the types of crops that can be grown by farmers and the quality of the food that we're feeding our children. And if you wanna know how bad this can get, Okay, Monsanto is connected to at least 200,000 suicides in India throughout the past decade where there were farmers that were forced to plant only Monsanto 
cottonseed crop. I think it's the BT crop, which of course the farmers were promised that these crop yields would be higher, they'd make all this money, and what actually started to happen was the crops failed. The livestock died, the farms went under, and there was something like 1,700 suicides a month over the past decade, all due to the forced imposition of Monsanto crops on these farmers in India. And this is just a preview of what's gonna happen in America if this bill with the Monsanto riders is allowed to go through. Now I'm gonna provide a link for you to contact your senator, your congressman, other concerned parties, for you to email them, write them, call them, that you are against this rider. And I'll provide those links for you in the description of this video below. And people, I really want you to understand the importance of what these biotech companies um, will be perpetrating on not only the crops and the livestock, but on your children and your own health. And I just want to read you a couple of study results here. GM potatoes damaged rats, rats that were fed potatoes engineered to produce their own insecticide. They were developed potentially um, precancerous cell growth in the digestive tract, inhibited development of their brains, livers, testicles, par partial atrophy of the liver, and large pancreas, intestines, immune system damage. I mean, this kind of stuff is gonna happen to your kids and yourself if because the co the the effect of eating these pro products is compounded. Okay, your body doesn't flush this crap out. And here's some more examples. Stomach lesions, bleeding. Seven out of 40 of the rats fed GM tomatoes died within two weeks. Um, rats fed BT corn had multiple health problems. Significant changes in blood cells, livers, kidneys, uh, disease, allergy. I mean, the list just goes on and on. I'll provide links for you to do your own research. I mean, this, this, this whole Monsanto rider into the 2012 Farm Bill and 2013 Agriculture Appropriations Bill just dovetails so beautifully into the Agenda 21 Codex Alimentarius population reduction it's been proven in studies time and time again that these genetically modified organisms that they're forcing us to eat cause sterility cancers organ degeneration and just allergies and a host of other life-threatening and life-deteriorating effects when fed to animals. I mean, I know a rancher out here in New Mexico who has told me that in the past six or seven years where he's been forced to use Monsanto GMO BT products in the, in the feed, that when his cattle are butchered, he said the intestines and I know this is gross, the intestines come out like tissue paper. There is no, the visceral muscle damage is, and breakdown is just so total when these animals are butchered that the intestines don't even come out in one piece, that they just rip apart. And people, you need to understand, this is what's gonna happen to you if you are consistently exposed to genetically modified foods for a prolonged period of time. Hey guys, I just want to let you know that you have to fight this at every stage, every chance that you get. And on a positive note, I want to leave you with this. In an article I read that was dated November 4th, 2010, Monsanto stocks were down 40%. The executives in Monsanto were buying back the own, their own company stock 
in order to prevent a complete downslide of the stock. We can put them out of business if we absolutely refuse to buy their products. Well, that's all I've got for now. I hope you do some research on this and just say no to Monsanto. Are you still sleeping? Are you awake yet? Wake up. Wake up.